Hello my peregrini friends, welcome back to the TK series. Today we are going to talk about the group distribution for the east coast track and we will also watch myself driving, yeah. I'm not good at it but for the fun of it I will do it. Ari also wanted to surprise me with the car I asked him to organize. Unfortunately I didn't record my reaction when I first saw the gift, which you can see in the video going on. I really wasn't expecting this build, I didn't even mention him uh, which car I wanted, but uh, I'm really glad that he gave me this Miramar. I just love it. I love it, it's so beautiful. Anyway, uh, my lap will come after we distribute our drivers into the groups, so let's just now start with the group distribution. The first group that we will start is the group number 3. As explained in the past videos, we will pick the third, sixth and so on. This time, the group 3 will have only 7, drive, seven drivers. In the first position, we will have Kiel von Moon, followed by Arthur Walker. In third, it will be Shane Graham, the second Irish in the same race. Then in fourth is Teroy Muneyak. In fifth, it's gonna be Leroy Balcaran followed by Elisha Brooks in 6th and then Yolanta Yannis in 7th. Yolanta who had a wonderful qualifying but at the last turn she decided to hit Vladimir Agurtsov. It was a horrible decision by Yolanta. And now it's gonna be very hard for her, very far hard for her to recover this. Let's talk about now the group number 2. In the first position we'll have Salmo Puma, in 2nd Tiao Li, in 3rd Zach Karias Galana Glo, in fourth, Reinaldo Cabral, who didn't finish the last two races and didn't finish the qualifying. In fifth, is going to be Poliana Vaz, who also didn't finish the last two races. In sixth, is Gustavo Alencar to complete the list of the Brazilians. And in last, is going to be Vladimir Agmurtsov, who seems to not be very fond of racing. I just don't know why he's not performing well. And now let's talk about the first group. Let's distribute the drivers here. They have all left here, as you can see. We have eight drivers instead of seven, like in the previous race. And this is only to complicate the life of the, the drivers that are gonna make way more points because they are on the first group than on the other two. So I'm gonna just read again the names that you may have already read. So we have in first Nina Hill, who in our history has started first in the last two races. And well, maybe I should give points for good qualifiers, I, I don't know. Anyway, in second we have Daisy O'Brien, in third Piotr Frolov, followed by Thomas Abarkeri in fourth, we have Juliana Frag in fifth, in sixth we have Donatello Vitello, the mysterious driver, then in the seventh position we have Chimbai Dargan, who seems to share the same feelings as Vova, not very fond of racing, and last eight we have Ayutun de Pamile Kunayo. Now, as I have already mentioned and that you probably notice in the video running the background, Ari worked on the Miramar especially for me to run this lap. Despite the car looking amazing, it is very agile in the turns, actually very agile. Well, anyway, I have no benchmark to compare because I have never driven before. But I can say that I had fun driving it, even after the... Uh, oh, okay, I'm, I won't spoil my lap video. So let's go to my rundown. And here we are. We are at the parking lot where Ari left the car. And this is the same place where we had our Civetta ETK exposition. Here, this is the car that Ari used. I think it's a mod. But anyway, I'm going now to the starting point and uh, driving isn't one of the easiest thing that I can do so I'll try to do my best here so let's see how it's gonna be <laughs> but I know how it went because I'm commenting now but let's see okay I stopped where everyone starts and three two one Go! And here we are starting on the first straight. And this curve here wasn't very challenging. It seems to be very okay, but uh, when the speed is high, 
you can lose control. This one, this second turn to the left is also a very dangerous spot because the car can uh, just slid, slid, slide. So I have completed already so far four turns without any problem. Another big straight. This place is very dangerous because we have a very sharp turn to the right and we are joining the... I, I, I have a, a strange feeling about this area here at the background of the city by the river. So it's, let's call it the riverside kind of straight. Went into the first bridge and now this is a very dangerous spot because the bridge gives the sensation that you can go straight. Uh, but and then there is a sharp turn to the left and here also on my very first turn I went to the right <laughs> I actually made a mistake I didn't even re I, well I was recording but uh, we decided to put it out so oh look at how I lost control here and <gasps> ah true I forgot about that yeah I was so fast here so fast that uh, I I couldn't even stop the car so I decided because the car was still driving it was okay and it was pushing uh, pushing to the right I had to control it the driving to the left mostly just releasing the wheel and left and left and left so I'm driving to the repair shop so Ari can take a look and fix it with his magic magic abilities so I'm, I'm happy that the car didn't explode because of look at how how, how much smoke is coming out so the cameras are still the same I'm trying to come easily so getting in into our improvised mechanical spot so let the magic begin now it's gonna be very fast because well you know it's magic hands from Ari Ari Sorrentino from Italy okay so let's just wait a little bit until the car gets fixed ready let's make a second attempt by the way we just had a, a very nice coffee at the sound of jazz music I hope you liked it okay so let's try it again I mean let's watch me trying it again because I'm not driving at the moment I'm just commenting okay, so let's see how it's gonna be three two one go okay I'm starting now so I can I'm in the first straight. I am a little bit scared because I had that crash. Even though I just had a coffee, I don't feel very secure. So I'm 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 kind of driving safely and not trying to push the car through the corners because I don't know how it breaks, how it stops, and I don't know the track as well. Even though. This is my second, probably third attempt ever at driving. So now I'm approaching this weird place in the East Coast that I mentioned called Riverside. I'm entering the bridge with nearly 50 seconds. Okay, so let's see how it's gonna be. Now I'm getting to the fastest area of the track let's see how is it gonna be okay and i'm going fast here i'm going fast i'm nearly 100 kilometers per hour just past the camera on the floor and lost control of the car but i managed to take it back and didn't crash at the same time so now i'm only never driven before area of the track this is also a very fast area uh, place because I managed to hit one, 110, 110 kilometers per hour. So the last corner and let's see how my time is going to be now. So my time is 1 minute 49, 
just 6 to 6. I am kind of a middle of the table driver, it seems. I'd say top of the bottom. <laughs> I'm not a very good driver, so now let's enjoy the rest of the second lap. Let's see how's it gonna be. Uh, we we hired a drone a drone pilot to try to give some nice shots for us. And uh, well, we are just seeing it. And uh, you can tell me in the comments what you think of it. If the drone pilot's good, if it is driving too close to the car, because uh, when I was driving, I didn't even notice the presence of the drone. So yeah, now that I'm driving, I entering on the very fast area. I'm close to one minute now, and also at 90 km per hour. I'm very scared here. I'm trying to go as slow as possible, but still. And oh yeah, I lost control here. I lost control, but I'm lucky that there was this little hill that prevented me from crashing, crashing very ugly, it would be very problematic for the races. So I'll continue the... So I'll continue the, the track, my time would not be very good, but still, you can see how fast I am, I'm not as fast as I was because I was scared and now I'm gonna complete this lap and getting close to the end I think I'm gonna be at around two minutes uh, yes two minutes and two seconds so it wasn't very good lap but still it was fun to drive my best best lap is one minute 49 seconds uh, while I was actually resting, I've heard that uh, Ari also did the lap. So we are checking with the camera team if we have it on record or not. If we do, we will post it at some time and see how fast he was. Of course, it's going to be in a different car, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this episode. And I'll see you in the races. Bye.